Well, hello and welcome to Conversations with Cabrera in a very uh, special day. This is, this is commencement and it is a true pleasure to have a fellow Georgia Tech alum, the Chancellor of uh, UC Davis, Dr. Gary May, um, a person who is very well known here, who has played an important, uh, really uh, crucial role in the history of, uh, of, of, of Georgia Tech and who's made a big impact in higher education at large. And um, I'm so glad that you agreed to have a conversation with me and maybe uh, talk a little bit about uh, leadership and, and your own leadership journey. Leadership is so important. It's so critical for our progress and success. I, you know, I never aspired to be an administrator. I aspired to be a leader. And it requires a certain amount of confidence. It can be risky. Uh, but if you have the right team around you supporting you and, and you listen to those team members, uh, you can have great success. And uh, uh, it's not always easy. Uh, there, there's times when you, you, you do some soul searching. But uh, it's so gratifying in the end to be in leadership. And, and I recommend it to anyone who has any aspirations. So Gary, lots has uh, changed around here since uh, you were you were a student. What do you remember the most? How how did um, sort of Georgia Tech impact you, and, and what, what sort of sticks in your in your mind? Many many fond memories. I came here as a 17 year old freshman. Uh, I vividly remember the academic rigor, like many of us do. Um, I think uh, made lots of good friends, had a lot of fun, uh, enjoyed the people I was with. Uh, but uh, Georgia Tech has been such a tremendous influence on me personally, professionally. Um, I, I treasure every moment that I spent here. You go to grad school uh, in California. Eventually, you return to Georgia Tech as a, as a young faculty member. You're, you're doing very well building your lab, your research, uh, teaching. What made you consider an administrative job? I mean, at what point do you think you want to be a leader in academia? Uh, I certainly didn't set out to, to be in a campus leader when I was teaching my classes and doing my research. I was kind of minding my own business when I uh, was, was approached by uh, folks that thought I had leadership qualities and I should consider it. In fact, a pivotal uh, experience I had was working with, with Wayne as what was then called the executive assistant to the president. And that really opened my eyes to how a campus runs beyond the classroom and the laboratory. So how do buildings get built? How, to, how does money get raised? How do uh, you interact with the media and the legislature and all those things? And he, Wayne was such a great example for me. And that sort of whet my appetite to continue on in, in leadership. But I am amazed by the number of folks that you have mentored. Many of them are now reaching the top levels in, 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 in academia. And, uh, tell me, is that an intentional part of your, of your leadership? Why does that matter to you? Well, I, know I think role models are so important uh, in all, almost every aspect of life. Former Surgeon General Joyce Lynn Elders once said, you can't be what you can't see. And so I think it was important for me to be a visible role model for what I call the next generation of leadership. When you chose engineering, you probably were one of a very few black students in uh, electrical engineering at Georgia Tech. Probably in grad school, there were not many uh, folks like you. Throughout your career, you've been sort of that, that person who was sort of opening doors and, and doing things that um, sort of lots of firsts in, in your career. Why is it important that we all take very seriously the idea of expanding access to especially to careers in science and, and technology. Representation matters, and um, not just because you know it's it's the right thing to do, which it is, but because uh, diversity produces better outcomes. So when you, when you're out and about in the community and, and you talk to uh, to girls who, as you, as we know, are underrepresented still in computing and in most of the areas in, in engineering, or you talk to uh, uh, black kids or Hispanics who are also underrepresented. What's, what's your message? What's your, uh, your hook? I, I try to tell them that uh, these roles are accessible to you because uh, uh, they were accessible to me. And all you have to do is find the right mentor and find the right situation and work hard and, and, and things, good things will happen. Well, Gary, I can't tell you how proud uh, we all are at Georgia Tech of, of, of you, your career, your leadership, uh, your example, and delighted that we're able to bring you back and honor you today. You're one of the giants in this place, and for that I thank you. Mm -hmm.